how to soften hardened light clay, make an organizer for your art supplies, cut out identical clay hearts, and color felt your craft? Watch the latest episode of The Life Hacks Show to learn these and other useful life hacks for DIY arts and crafts. The girls can't get to the TV fast enough. Their favorite show is starting. Lights, camera, action. Dear viewers, we're your hosts, Rhonda and Shonda. And that means the Life Hack Show is on the air. Shonda, don't boring school supplies make your life so much worse? It feels like these paper clips have never even heard of beauty and happiness. We should fix that. Just for our viewers, we have a fast and easy life hack to turn a paperclip into the queen of beauty. Roll light clay of different colors. Connect the strands together. Twist them and even them out. Cut them into a spiral. Mix acrylic polish with pearly powder. Paint over the spiral and glue a big paper clip onto the back. The girls work hard to recreate everything they're seeing on screen. And here's another life hack. If you don't have any acrylic polish, you can use regular clear nail polish to cover the clay. And our paper clips immediately look way more fun. Rhonda and Shonda love using light clay, but it does have one downside. It dries out really quickly. It happens all the time. But the Life Hack Show can fix this issue. Tear up a piece of dried out light clay into small pieces and soak them in hot water for 10 minutes. Afterwards, knead the clay until it's unified again. You can repeat the procedure several times to get an even better result. A little hot water and the hardened light clay is alive again. That's the magic of life hacks. Viewers, remember this one. What should you do with some leftover light clay? To make sure it stays soft and easy to work with, we'll share another life hack with you. If you don't have an airtight way to seal your light clay back up, then put it in the freezer. After defrosting, it'll still be soft. Hey, it actually worked! How useful! Thanks, Rhonda and Shonda! Now we know all about how to use light clay. The girls also know a few artistic life hacks. Using paintbrushes is so yesterday. Now we're all using our fingers. Cut a sponge into three parts and soak them in acrylic paint. Dip your finger into the sponge like you're using a stamp and make prints on a sheet of paper. Draw the string of a balloon coming from each print. Make the strings connected and write a note on the card. Make a few different greeting cards the exact same way. One with four leaf clovers with cute little birds and with deer in love. Blondie and Redhead have designed a whole line of greeting cards made with their fingerprints. Minimalism and warm wishes, that's the concept. Even Rhonda and Shonda, the goddesses of life hacks, are impressed. Great job, girls! How can you turn a regular sponge into a squishy? The Life Hack Show has the scoop. Draw a circle on a sponge. Cut it out and give it the shape of half an orange. To make the sponge more like a real squishy, soak it in acrylic whitewash. Let the sponge dry out all the way and color it with rubber paint. Draw orange segments. Glue on toy eyes. Draw a smile with a marker. 
There you go! It's that easy to make a soft citrus stress reliever out of an ordinary sponge! Viewers at home, now it's your turn! The girls do everything the TV hosts do! You're watching The Life Hack Show, the best show in the world! Oops! Looks like one of our letters took an early vacation! But we're still hard at work! Like it or not, if you're doing arts and crafts projects, you're gonna get your hands dirty! Shonda still can't get out this paint from the episode before last! Here, check out a cleaning life hack! You can use toothpaste to get out any paint stain! Just wash your hands with it! The toothpaste will be able to handle even the toughest paint! Oops! Looks like Rhonda has another tragedy on her hands! What a mess! Her beads are scattered all over the place! But Shonda won't give up hope! Let's pick up the beads with a vacuum! Hey! Be careful! This isn't a hairstyle life hack! Instead, let's fit a sock onto the vacuum cleaner and collect all the tiny beads in a flash! That's better! Now all our treasures are safe and sound in this sock bag! Rhonda, what should I do if I need some colorful felt but I only have white? Simple, really! Don't lose hope! Watch this next life hack to find out how to make colorful felt with paint! Cut out the silhouette of a unicorn out of paper. Cut out the mane separately. Dilute acrylic paint with water and color white felt. Let it dry. Cut two unicorns out of white felt and the mane out of the colored one. Hot glue the two unicorn pieces together. Glue a pencil inside and attach the colorful mane. Cover the horn with acrylic polish and sprinkle glitter on top. Draw a muzzle with acrylic paint and glue an ear made out of a foam rubber sheet. Finally, attach a small bead to be the eye. The problem with such small beads is that they fall off a lot, and gluing them on is tricky. We've got a life hack ready to go! Wind some double-sided tape onto your finger. Run it over something a few times so the sticky layer won't be so fresh. Use your sticky finger to pick up the bead and easily hot glue it on. Rhonda and Shonda made a colorful unicorn, simple as that! It's impossible to guess that we dyed this felt ourselves! At least now you know how to make felt whatever color you want! What a lovely mug! How did Shonda manage to make all the hearts so even? She used a life hack! Roll out polymer clay into a thin layer. Use a heart-shaped hole puncher to cut out a little heart. Remove it from the hole puncher using another piece of clay. Make a few different hearts of all different colors. Degrease the ceramic mug using a sponge soaked in rubbing alcohol and cover it with the hearts. Bake it in an oven according to the polymer clay's instructions. The viewers carefully write everything down. Turns out that a fancy hole punch is useful for more than just paper. You can use it to make masterpieces out of polymer clay. A macaroon-shaped spoon will go great with this romantic mug. What's the easiest way to imitate a cookie using clay? Lifehack Show is about to tell you how. Use chopsticks to help you roll out polymer clay evenly. Lay them out parallel to each other and roll the clay out between them with a rolling pin. Cover it with some plastic wrap so you can smooth out the edges. Cut out a circle with a lid. Remove the excess clay. Use a toothbrush to give the clay a macaroon's texture. Roll out a layer for the filling the same way. Cut a groove for a spoon. Connect the macaroon with the spoon inside. Bake it according to the clay instructions. The girls have their materials ready! Food wrap and a toothbrush will help them reach new heights of creative excellence! Rhonda and Shonda made a wonderful matching set with polymer clay! Be sure to try this at home! These pebbles are so cute! Here at the Life Hack Show, we love making crafts out of materials found in nature! 
Color a small pebble with acrylic paint. This always happens when you're working on something small. Your fingers get dirty. To avoid that, let's use masking tape. Stick the pebble onto a strip of masking tape. Paint it. Draw a penguin. Use a marker to draw details. After the paint dries, remove the excess paint from the back of the pebble. Hot glue a pin back to it. Cover the whole thing with polish. What a cute pin! Finally, Redhead knows what to do with all the treasure she brought back from her last beach vacation. She can make a whole collection of brooches. Shonda and Rhonda, your ideas are the best. All these materials and nowhere to put them? Let's organize our arts and crafts materials and make a simple organizer out of a business card book. Take an old business card book. Mark its dimensions on a shiny foam rubber sheet. and glue the cover. Attach a button and hot glue an elastic loop to close it. Conceal the hot glue with another button. Insert little baggies of rhinestones, glitter, and decorations. Now the viewers at home have learned a very useful life hack. How comfortable! All we have to do now is distribute all our materials to their own places. Here's hoping there's enough room. Right, Shonda? Rhonda and Shonda can't get enough sugar. All this Nutella got eaten a long time ago. But throwing out the container feels like a waste. Let's make a pencil organizer out of it. Paint the inside of an empty Nutella jar with brown acrylic paint. Cover colored pencils with beige acrylic paint. Add details to make them look like breadsticks. Put the pencils into the container. What a coincidence! The girls just ran out of Nutella too! Here are our materials! Let's make pencils look like breadsticks and insert them into the sweet organizer. Now this glass jar has a new life. Has your thread frizzed up to the point that it's refusing to go through the eye of a needle? Don't strain your eyes, Rhonda. And don't be nervous. Just use some hairspray. Spray a thread with hairspray. Smooth it out. And thread your needle easily. Now what do I do with this needle? It'll probably get lost right away. Hey, redhead, look over here. How about a stylish lipstick pincushion? Clean out an old empty lipstick. Cut a sponge to be the right size to fit into the container. Make it cylindrical. And insert the sponge into the lipstick. Then add pins. Whoever assumes this is just lipstick is very wrong. There's a portable pin cushion inside. It's the perfect pocket-sized holder for pins and needles. Now, they definitely won't get lost. Well, that's the end of the life hack show. See you next time with a bunch of new ideas. Did you like our DIY arts and crafts life hacks? Then let us know in the comments about which ones you're going to try. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new life hacks from Troom Troom.